Hello, this is Orange Ice Gamer here. This is walkthrough part one on Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64. I have skipped the intro, the cutscene, but this is right after the cutscene. Just trying to save you some time. Basically, you're going to be walking very slow because you are hungover, I believe. Anyways, you're going to walk around this fence sorry for the low ass quality brightness whatever as long as you know what you're doing anyways he's gonna talk to you if you've already beat the game or I think that's the case you can skip it you might not be able to if you haven't just try the pressing L on your remote and yeah he's gonna talk to you again skip it press B give him a beer Give him a water, I think it is. Give him another beer. Then he will open up the gate beside you so it's easier for you to get out. You get some aspirin or something? Nope. Uh, yeah, you get medication, you put in the water. Whatever. And now you're back to the normal. Unfortunately, you have to go through this. Oh well. Anyways, you're just going to want to go across the water. And basically, it's going to tell you here is just to press, or after you press A, hold it down in the air so you can fly, whatever. So basically, you jump across there. This room you can't go in yet. So you're just going to pull down on the switch here. Obviously you go back into the door. This game is definitely one of the best games on the N64. Zelda Ocarina of Time being the first. Well, tied with Majora's Mask, in my opinion, but. Anyways, so we're getting here. We're going to be chasing this key around. He's going to realize he can't get it without missing item, the frying pan, which will come up any second. And you basically, you just use it by pressing B. So you smack the goddamn key. He's kind of a prick. Pick her up, and I'll open the door. Uh, yeah, so you just leave, go back to where you were. And there's going to be the gargoyle here if you haven't already seen him. You just want to skip it, basically. Walk up to him, smack him with the frying pan. He's going to laugh at you, but he's going to end up falling off. So you can jump down in there, down there, and really, if you really want to, you can see him. But he's just in the water, like pretty much dead or something. So, but there's this boulder here. That's what you're supposed to do. Go over here, press B. You got dynamite. Cutscene, kind of. It'll blow the boulder up, and you are out of this area. And there's another cutscene, but with the king and whatever their plans are. Not really. Well, it's, it's nice to go along with it. Not really important for the video, though. So, first things what you're going to do is you're going to talk to this bee. Because you're going to have to eventually. I'm not sure if you have to do it right now, but you're going to have to do it eventually. So, my advice is just to do it. It's not that hard. might take a couple tries, but you should get it, no problem. Anyway, so yeah, I just... Go up all the way here. This is her beehive. Her these jackass hornets. No, not hornets. A uh, wasp or something. Um, basically, they're gonna. You're not. You don't want them to uh, sting you. So basically, just go left or right. 
I might get hit here, but and do try not to go on the orange right there because that'll slow you down and they'll get you. Doesn't matter, they'll just get you every time. So just keep going left or right. Ah, uh, please don't get hit or I'll have to do this all over again, but um Yeah, I'm almost there. So, yeah, basically just go left or right and they'll be retarded and won't be able to hit you. Yeah, and so you got it over there. And uh yeah, so she basically just shoots them off. Shoots one. You'll have to deal with them later, but anyways, that's all for the time being. Anyways, you're gonna want to go here, and there you have to take out these guys. Uh, the scarecrow will pop up again, and it says to go to the instruction book. If you, if you, uh, t it's just the how to use the slingshot. Basically, you just press B to use it, and then hold down Z or just, just hit Z to fire or something. Hit the guy, hit him again, he'll explode. Do this to all four of them. And now they're gonna be out of your way. Skip whatever that was. I normally wouldn't skip. It's always good to watch what the person has made for the game. This game is all, all um definitely for comedy. So I mean, if you just want to have a nice time, and it's good to listen to it. So you're gonna want to go to the shit place, crap place, whatever later on. I'm not sure if you can actually go there first, but whatever. It's You're supposed to go here first, I'm pretty sure. And you, you have to do both anyways. So, yeah, there's another cutscene. I skipped it. So, first things first, we're going to want to... These boulders are basically pissed off with this rat that's retarded. So, and Because his wife's on top of him because she's scared. So, you just talk to them. And that the, to, by talking to them basically allows you to get cheese to feed the rat because this guy will open up the gate and you keep bringing cheese to the rat till he basically explodes because he can't eat anymore so if you want to hit him hit a hit cheese you're gonna want to bring three cheese to the rat and remember you cannot drop down there with the cheese or else the cheese is automatically gone and you cannot go through the water so you have to go through this way so beneath the boulders beside them whatever just what I'm doing go up the stairs here give them a uh, give them cheese you ate it whatever go back again basically do the same thing <sighs> boulder hit me and if uh, if the boulder hits you when you have the cheese you have to the cheese will be gone you'll have to start over not from all the cheeses, but you'll have to start over from... You basically just lose your cheese and you have to get another one. Um, they can be pricks sometimes. Like this one. Oh my god. I'm gonna smack that guy. Good animation. Got some two eyes sticking out. Got some boulders with some eyes. The comedy of this game is great. Parents, parents probably got mad when it came out. Kiss some kids, but it's rated appropriately, so whatever. And he'll be good for one more, and then he should explode. And then the wife will get off him, and we'll be good to go. Get the last cheese. Just try to hit them in groups. It's easier. Sometimes whatever will be hard. Uh, yeah. We're trying very hard. I mean, we have low quality stuff and everything, but we just like playing games and we like helping people out. And really, if you need any help on any game system, any game at all, any point in the game will help you at that exact point because we want to help and we like playing games and it's a fun pastime. 
So, I'm going to stop the video here. Part 2 will be coming up next. So, and very soon, like, I mean very soon. So, thank you for watching. This is Orange Ice Gamer. See ya.